idea. Oh, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. Let's imagine you are working in a very big organization. There, you are using Power BI Premium features. Either you are using Power BI Premium per user or Power BI Premium, or maybe you are using Microsoft Fabric. Or there, you are using deployment pipelines to move artifacts from dev to test or test to production workspaces. However, unfortunately, one of the team member deleted some of the report from the acceptance workspace. In this case, you have your original report in the dev, but you don't have in the acceptance, but you have the same report in the production workspace. Well, in this case, if you want to deploy it again, then you are going to experience a lot of problems or challenges. Because when the item is missing, then the ID linked with that particular item during the deployment is missing. And that is a very big issue. Then you cannot deploy it because it's going to deploy as a new item if you are going to again deploy a new report in the DevOps space. So how to solve this kind of challenge? Well, if you would like to know, then this video is for you. So please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. However, before moving further, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you always stay up to date with our all the latest videos and contents. Now, enough of the talking and let's get started. Alright guys, now you can see on my desktop that this is the deployment pipeline with the name demo. Over here, I have this development, test and production, three different stages of a deployment pipeline. And here I have assigned the workspaces, development, test and production. That's the workspace name I have given. If I'm going to compare it over here from development to test, you can see that there's one report. This is HR analytics dashboard. It's missing in the acceptance. And same, if you're going to compare between the test and the production, which I'm also saying that it's an acceptance or UAT, the name you would like to give it. So here also, you can see the report is over there in the production, but it's not available over here. Now, how you're going to tackle this kind of situation? You already know that the production version is your final version and you need to use this one. Well, don't worry about that. I have covered. I'm going to help you over here. So first of all, you have to unassign this workspace from here. And same you're going to do over here at the development one. So now you don't have any workspace. So the very first, you are going to connect or assign the production workspace under this development stage. So let's do that production and we can assign it. Once it's done, it's going to compare again. And if we are going to check it, it's still going to say the same. Okay, this one is over there and it's not here, but that's all right. Now we are going to deploy from actually the production workspace to the test workspace or your acceptance or UAT workspace that you would like to call it. So deploy it. Now it's done. So you can see that your production, basically your final production one and your this workspace, they are in sync and your item is already available in the acceptance. In this case, you don't need to sync over here now because we haven't assigned any workspace over here. But if you would like to do that, you can do that again. So let's suppose we are gonna assign over here this one, our development workspace. So where is my development workspace? This is the one. So here also you can move the same content, but remember that in the dev workspace, that report is already there. So you ideally don't need to do that, but if you would like to do that, you can do that, but I'm not going to do it. So what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to unassign it from here. And now I can back flip over here that I can simply, you know, assign it. But let's say in any of the worst scenario, because the ID also matters. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to assign development over here and I'm going to deploy it over here and here. That's the problem I was talking about. So here you can see that can start the deployment because item displayed in the workspace view and items in the target workspace don't match. So that's the problem. It's going to come. So do not assign over here. So rather than close it and assign it, don't do that anything over here. And what we are going to do, we are going to back assign it. So development is going to be here, assign it. And let's see, see now these are in sync and you can assign the production back over here and they should be in sync as well. So, and your problem is solved. Isn't it amazing? So guys, what do you think about it? If you also have any of your own challenges during the, by using the deployment pipelines, please let us know by commenting in the comment section and we are gonna reply you as soon as possible. 
If you are looking for any of the Microsoft Power BI, Microsoft Fabric training programs, please do connect with us. Also, if you are looking for any of the certification training for DP500, DP600 or PL300, you can again contact us. We also provide the consulting services. So if you want to take your business to the new height or you want to get empowered using data or want to make data-driven decisions, then we are going to help you out. Till then, guys, keep learning and I'm going to see you in the next video.